All right, we're still rocking and rolling on our paintings here tonight. We are gonna take and keep going on this painting. If you remember, if you saw my dedication uh, show, this was our dedication to uh, Mark Thompson, formerly of uh, Mark in the Morning, Mark and Brian show, and now on the Mark and Linda podcast. But I want to keep adding to this. I, I just love the colors. I love what we did with it. And we're going to go with our silhouettes again. All right. So we're going to keep on that playlist. We're going to keep kind of using a little bit more of this. Why waste it? You know, you, you can add more to it. Uh, these silhouettes, as you know, we're going to use plain black acrylic paint. Find a couple brushes that you feel comfortable making fine lines with. Remember, bl uh, black paint can really overcome this uh, color and this painting very, very quickly. It can saturate it very, very fast. So we're going to take our time with it. We're going to be nice and easy, and we're just going to have some fun with it. All right. So start small. That's what you do with your silhouettes. Start small, and then expand out with your uh, black. So grab those brushes here, and let's get started with our silhouettes. Now this one we're going to do a little bit different. I'm going to add some, it's going to be a tropical thing, but we're not going to do those like obvious palms, you know, a little bit distant from it. We're going to do a little bit more up close stuff. Um, so it's really going to break up a lot of this painting and you'll see what I mean. So we're going to grab maybe more of that small to medium sized brush I got right here. This one's a flat brush and I'm going to go ahead and put some plain black on it. Now what I want to do is I want to start kind of in this corner over here. And I just want to start dabbing or blotting some of this plain black. And what you can see, I'm going to come up a little bit at a time. Now this is what we're using with the, with the brush here. You can also use other tools. And we're going to make episodes on using different tools to get some of these other effects here. But for now, we're going to use our brushes. And again, we're just going to kind of add some nice little bushes over here, a little shrubbery. And we want to kind of just cover a lot of that awesome sky. Unfortunately, I know it's tough because some of these skies that you're doing are so impressive, so amazing, and it's tough to cover some of those. But don't worry. Let's have some fun. Let's mess up a little bit. Let's 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 try this. Let's give it a whirl. It's a cool thing about this acrylic paint. It dries fast. We can just go paint right over it again. So you can see I'm adding some land. I'm going to add some maybe some rocks, a little bit more solid stuff right here. So you can see I'm adding some pretty cool, sharp, almost like distant mountains. We've worked on that before in some of our other paintings. A little bit more solid. And you can even use your tiny brush if you want to add some like little leaves kind of coming off here. Whatever you'd like. Just have fun with it. Just get a good little feel for this plain black going over all this color. Okay. Now even this is going to change, but at least I want you to get a little bit brave with that plain black and just see how it looks. Get a feel for it. There we go. Adding some, maybe some little shrubbery right there. Who knows? Whatever's on this land. Now what I'm going to do is kind of like take this up a little bit, this black. I'm going to add maybe a little bit of a different shape. So it looks like there's something solid kind of happening right there on the side. But look how much that contrasts now. That's what's so cool about silhouettes is it adds that amazing contrast so quickly. Just so little effort. Again, switch your brushes if you feel more comfortable using your smaller size brush, whatever you'd like. And I will eventually too. But for now, I'm just kind of making some random stuff happen. Maybe a rock right there. Okay. Now what I'm doing is just putting a little bit more black on my brush here. And sometimes you just need to step away. Step back from your painting and just see how's it looking. Now, a different step that we're going to do here is we're going to add some kind of almost like it's encompassing the actual painting. We're going to add some little bit closer palm trees. So some palm leaves really are going to be tapering and falling down. What do I mean by that? 
find that. When you, if, I want you to switch that brush that you feel comfortable making fine lines with. All right. It could be the one you're using right now. It could be a smaller one, whatever you are feeling. And I'm going to go ahead and make a little line come right down. Right here, kind of like curving over and it almost like spikes out a little bit. Remember, you got to be brave. Just breathe and feel it. All right. You've got that nice black line that just went right through your painting. You're like, what is going on? I can't do this. Don't worry. It'll all make sense when we keep going. And I'm going to go ahead and make some of these little palm leaf spikes come right off of this guy. Like they're hanging down. And what that does now is it gives the illusion that there is a tree that's hanging over here. It's hanging over this. In fact, you could even add some spikes going right there the opposite way too. I always say nature's not perfect and I love that we can use that to our advantage on these paintings here because and then that's really why you see a lot of artists do these landscapes because you can make mistakes you can make brush strokes but when you start learning the technique and then when you mix that with learning the colors that's when you really start seeing those life things come out and that's what's so fantastic about it the imperfections are what make this happen I'm gonna make this one a little bit thicker over here some palm leaves now in the dedication show we did uh, Mark was a, a well he's still a huge Carolina Panther fan so I actually have a hidden Carolina Panther just in the clouds right there so I want to kind of still showcase that off there I want to keep that I want to race it even though my beloved Broncos did beat those Panthers sorry about that but we're still recovering though after our loss of Peyton Manning that's how that goes but either way I'm gonna go ahead and add some more of those palm leaves not really taking away from that fun subliminal little panther we put in there for Mark but check that out <laughs> Look at how that black just makes such a impact, an instant impact. I'm not symmetrical. I'm not making it so even. I'm spacing some of those spikes off of this. And that's what that's what's going to get you that more realistic effect here. In fact, I'm going to bring a little bit more here and Still trying to showcase that panther there. You don't want to make it too obvious. That's the whole point, is to make it a little bit hidden in there. And there you go. You can even make some little trees popping up here. You're just on some awesome island. I just love it. I love when you can start getting that effect. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and make another palm tree. This one's going to be maybe a little bit shorter, stubbier. But what it gives the effect is that you're kind of up close looking through this land and you're just kind of seeing this um, awesome sky and sunset in the background. Um, so that's what's just fun about these silhouettes. You can just, you, you get to play with it and just mess around with it such a fun thing and then of course I'm gonna make some on the other side you've got a lot of blue over here let's go ahead and change that adding these just little spikes little tiny brush strokes find that one that you feel comfortable with I'm using kind of a flat brush and just you know going with the flow of it again crunch your bristles I've shown that a few times in our episodes you know again take your brush and then just you know put it in a napkin wrap it around it and just press down you're crunching those bristles up and you're molding those bristles together with that paint in there and once you're done with that you just you've got it this is nice and thin it looks good put some more black on there you're in business you can make the tiniest little lines 
and that is such a fun tip I love that and you can do that unlimited times when you start feeling like you're not making those fine lines anymore Just crunch your bristles man you can just keep going Wow like what a difference that does and again you don't have to stop there you've got all this land over here you could work with you've got so much I mean look I can just make an, another rock here and just playing around with it just made some new land real quick man I want to go hang out here there you go what do you think guys not bad like another silhouette we took a, a painting that you know we we did on another show and we just kept it going this adds a whole new element it has a whole new style to it um, I hope you're enjoying this is so fun I mean I, I just love being able to paint with you guys um, I've got some cool comments people have been like saying some really fantastic things uh, this is a great show. We are just going to keep this going. I have so many different things that we're going to delve into. So many different subjects. You know, we've delved a lot in the clouds. We are really cranking through a lot of the um, silhouettes here. We just did our first kid show and then we did our first dedication show. There are many more things that are going to be happening here. We're going to have some guest artists coming up on this show lots of fun things so stay with me keep painting again don't break the bank you don't need to go buy like so many crazy things just practice start with the beginning stuff i will help you out and we will get to the point where you're going to be getting to more of those advanced steps but for now let's have fun let's just chill let's just kind of make mistakes let's get a feel for these different techniques we're starting off with then eventually we're gonna make these big painting we're gonna do some pretty cool stuff so hang in there with me I am so glad you're part of the show um, for those that I've had the opportunity to really just paint with and do some of the events with man thank you so much for following me and um, I can't wait to again I'm, I guarantee I'll see you again for sure uh, but keep up the good work and hey man anyone can paint keep it going all right I'll see you next week. Yeah.